part one of how an iPhone works, major players. Let's first talk about the companies that want to make smartphones. Apple, Samsung, LG, Huawei. Steve Jobs just decides that one day he wants an iPhone. These are my uh, Steve Jobs glasses. First thing to note is that Apple alone doesn't have all the expertise to make this happen. The genesis of the idea starts with Apple, but they get a lot of help from a lot of different people to make it happen. The first thing that Apple needs is to get a lot of core hardware components together from different vendors. Apple is really good at Apple things, but do you think they have crazy knowledge in LTE, cellular networks? No, probably not. There are other companies that specialize in LTE and cellular networks. I used to work at one, Qualcomm. All right, so one thing that Qualcomm designs is high performance modem chips. What are modem chips? Those things are pretty much what gives you your LTE in your iPhone and lets you call and SMS your friends. The modem gives you those signal bars. A modem is just one important piece in the whole phone. When you're playing all your games, Snapchatting your friends, or just using iOS, you're actually using a different application processor. In terms of core hardware, there are a lot of different components, each with their own responsibilities. Apple makes some of them, and different companies like Qualcomm make the others. Oh crap, we need LTE in our phones, and we don't have any idea how that works. Qualcomm's making some LTE-enabled modems, so let's just buy some from them. When you hear the words A5, A6, A7, A8, those are Apple processors. Remember that each processor is part of a larger whole that we're going to talk about. There's graphics processors, different modems, application processors, resource management, a lot of different things. When you hear about it in the news, obviously you only hear about the Apple stuff. Two players so far. Companies that want to make phones, Apple. Specialized companies which produce hardware to build the phone. Most of these companies that design the chips, Qualcomm for example, only do the design. They don't actually physically produce any of the chips. They need Asia and the 1 billion Chinese to do that. Sorry, bad joke, but you know, kind of true. Qualcomm sends a blueprint or designs of the chip to Asia and what they get back are thousands and thousands and thousands of small chips that they can sell. Qualcomm is gonna sell those LTE enabled modems to companies like Apple or Samsung. Remember, Qualcomm is in the business of selling these chips. Apple is in the business of selling phones. Chip manufacturers don't care what an iPhone looks like. Okay, so Apple aggregates a lot of core hardware components together, some they design, some other companies design, and they really have the guts to the smartphone. Once Apple has the guts to their system, they're gonna start thinking about the form factor. This is where a lot of design comes into play. Also remember, when we talk form factor, it's a little level above core hardware components, but it's still provided by many other vendors. This super awesome screen that you can touch probably comes from a different company. The cool sensor for your thumb, probably another company camera lens, you know, you get the picture. You can imagine how hard it is to get all these different parts coming from different sources all to work together. All right, let's talk about the third major player, which are the network providers like Verizon. Those jerks. These are companies that have huge networks that span across the world. All network providers want a variety of cool smartphones so they can give to their users for them to use on their networks. Once Apple's done with their iPhones, they make deals with different network providers, AT&T, Verizon, so their users can start buying iPhones and using that network. Distribution. The network providers, like Verizon, are the companies that you and me talk with. To get that iPhone, we have to sign our life away on that piece of paper. We pay them a large amount of money, but I guess we really have to, otherwise the phone would be pretty useless. We couldn't call anyone. There is a huge infrastructure behind all these cellular networks. So we have three companies so far. Companies that want to build phones, other companies that provide important parts, and network providers which distribute the phones. I want an iPhone. I, I, I just want an iPhone. Wrapping it up there for the major players, and in the next videos we're going to dive deeper into how the hardware works and slowly move our way also into software and what that's all about. 
hope your uh, mind isn't blown quite yet, but it will be. So stay tuned and we'll talk soon, all right?